Hey guys, this is Jordan, aka Mary Helsing, and you're probably wondering why I'm in bed with my trusty Al Houdini. Well, I'm gonna do something very special because it's story time! Today I'm gonna read Go the Fuck to Sleep. Now, if you aren't familiar with this book, this book is supposed to be a parody of all the bedtime stories you would read to your child, except it's told from the parent's perspective. Just so you know, this is a book that is not meant to be for kids. Just a reminder. Also to add on to it, I'm going to be doing some impressions in order to read through the story. So, ladies and gentlemen, parents of all ages, Close the doors, cough up the pillows, sit back and relax, and allow me to read to you Go the Fuck to Sleep by Adam Mansbach. The cats nestle close to their kittens. The lambs have laid down with the sheep. You're warm and cozy in your bed, my dear. Please, Scoob, go the fuck to sleep. The windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book if you swear. You'll go the fuck to sleep. Ah, ah, ah. The eagles who soar through the sky are grust, and the creatures who crawl, run, and creep. I know you're not thirsty. That's bullshit. Stop lying. Lie the fuck down, my darling, and sleep. The wind whispers soft through the grass, hon. The few mice, they make not a peep. It's been three minutes already. Jesus Christ, what the fuck, Morty? Go to sleep. from daycare are in dreamland. The froggy has made his last sleep. Hell no, you can't go to the bathroom. You know where you can go? The fuck to sleep. Huh? The owls fly forth from the treetops. Through the air they soar and they sweep. A hot crimson rage fills my heart, love. For real, Max, shut the fuck up and sleep. Ooh, yo. The cubs and the lions are snoring, wrapped in a big, snuggly heap. How come you can do all this other great shit, but you can't lie the fuck down and sleep? The seeds slumber beneath the earth now, and the crops that the farmers will reap. No more questions. This interview's over. I've got two words for you, kid. Fucking sleep. The tiger reclines in the simmering jungle. The sparrow has silenced the cheap. Fuck your stuffed bear. I'm not getting you shit. Close your eyes. Cut the crap. Sleep. The flowers doze low in the meadows and high on the mountain so steep. Ah. My life is a failure. I'm a shitty ass parent. Stop fucking with me, please. And just sleep. The giant pangolins of Madagascar snoozle. As I lie here and open my wood. So, fun, whatever. I'll bring you some milk. Who the fuck cares? You're not gonna sleep. This room is all I can remember. The furniture, crappy and cheap. You, when you escape, 
you run down the hall as our nod the fuck off and sleep. Blurry and deep, I awakened to find your eyes shut, so I keep my fingers crossed tight as I tiptoe away and pray that you're fucking asleep. Oops. Oops. So much saliva. Oops. <laughs> We're finally watching our movie. Popcorns in the microwave. Beep. Oh shit. God damn it. You've got a bikini. Come on. Go the fuck back to sleep. The end. <laughs> so that's all I have to say and Thank you so much for watching this video because this was something I really wanted to do because I really love this book. It's so funny and I always wanted to try uh, doing this with impressions. And if you're interested in trying out or checking out some more uh, YouTubers who happen to be really good at impressions, I would advise you to check out another YouTuber by the name of Brian Hall. He's really good and he does so many impressions of Disney characters and Looney Tunes characters, Star Wars characters, and more, and he's so lovable and funny, so I would advise you to check him out and subscribe to his channel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content in the future. So until then, I'll see you later, and everybody just go the fuck to sleep. <laughs>